Hello, my name's Andrew, and today we're doing a first impressions review of the Vivo Barefoot Modus Flex. So this is a barefoot cross training shoe, and it's the latest one Vivo Barefoot's ever made. Plus it's got some really interesting features to it. So yeah, let's check it out. Up front, you've got a nice wide toe box, which is made even more roomy by the stretchy knit upper. It's 100% vegan, and it's a blend that contains elastane, so there's a lot of really good mobility to the top of the shoe. In the front, it's got some perforation. So airflow kind of comes through the top of the shoe or through the front of the shoe and then moves backwards, which is nice. If you're like sprinting or biking, I could definitely feel it coming through, which is great for hotter days. And um, on top, you've got these drawstring laces and they're quite thin. They're also quite stretchy, but you can pull them um, and cinch them really nicely because the laces hold quite well with these eyelets here, the fabric eyelets. Um, and if you're someone who hasn't really liked thicker laces on a cross training shoe, which you're bending a lot, these are nice because you don't even feel that they're there. And the shoe itself with the knit upper kind of feels like it hugs your foot like a sock, which is nice. They feel really good barefoot and they're very easy to slip in as well because they've got a little bit more stretchy material um, and the collar that wraps around the shoe. And then you can kind of just slide your heel in there. Um, but generally, I like to wear socks with my shoes. I wear toe socks. These are merino wool and gingies. And one reason that I do this specifically is because I have more medium width toes. They're kind of like scrunched together like this. So if I don't wear a sock, then my toes start to sweat. And if you add the toe socks, then it creates some airflow between your toes, which is nice. But if you have wider feet, you might be able to get away with wearing them barefoot. But either way, I think they feel nice. I think especially with a synthetic blend because synthetic doesn't breathe or have quite as good temperature regulation, it also can be nice just to have a natural fiber that kind of wicks moisture away from your feet. I don't know, it also just keeps the shoe clean, but it's kind of up to you. And then in the back of the shoe, it's got this really interesting logo. It kind of reminds me, if you're a gamer, it reminds me of like the Bioshock aesthetic. Like, I don't know, I would find this implanted on a wall in some kind of underwater, like futuristic city but they definitely have kind of sci-fi um, vibes to them. And I feel like Vivo Barefoot has two main styles. They've got like the classic earthy vibe and then they've got like the space age vibe. And these are definitely in the second category. They've got a really cool design to them. Um, on the side of the shoe, you've got some reinforcement here for cross training, which is important because if you're going back and forth, um, you need something, especially with a shoe like this where it's knit, you need something that is going to keep your foot from sliding around. And these do a really good job, but as you can see, they're fairly thin. They've got some nice flexibility to them, so they don't limit your feet at all. I do feel a little bit of pressure here versus like the Primus Light Knit, which doesn't have any reinforcement on the side, but it wasn't something that really bothered me. And then also towards the front of the shoe, you've got these really nice divots. So when you're doing some extreme bending for cross training or for doing parkour, or yoga or anything like that, it's nice because it prevents crimping from, if you just have a continuous piece of rubber here, it can kind of like bend in weird ways. So I always like when brands do that. In terms of the sole, it's four millimeters. So it's got some really good flexibility to it. And it's made even better by the fact that they've cut lines into the sole. So you've got kind of like a tabby set up here for your big toe and then your other toes. So everywhere they've cut these lines, you get even more flexibility than the sole, which is already very thin. Um, so you've got the lines there, and then you've got them running through the middle of the sole twice and up here as well. But then in the back of the shoe, where you would want a little bit more durability, it is more dense, which is nice. So it gives you some more protection. And then obviously in the wider panels um, in the front too, um, the grip is quite good. The, um, the sole itself is 2.5 millimeters, so it is very thin, gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, but then you can see that there are actually some lugs here and they're um, a little bit deeper than some of you will barefoot's other cross training styles, which is nice because you can use these on some light trails. They're not like deep enough to use for steep, slippery, muddy hills, but pretty much everything else like gravel, dirt, all that stuff, you could use this for a trail running shoe as well, which is cool. Cause it's always nice when you can have one shoe that can handle multiple things. And then even though they have these lines cut here, there is an extra layer just to prevent the water from coming through. I would say these aren't probably the shoe that you would wear if you're gonna go creek walking, because I think it can take the knit um, a little longer to dry. Another good option for cross training is the Lono Flow. This is a similar shoe because it's got a nice wide toe box as well. It does get a little bit slim just towards the tip of the shoe, but especially because it's stretchy like the Modus Flex, it should fit most foot shapes. 
It's also got that divot thing going on right here, which I really like because you can flex the shoe without getting any weird crimping. It's got some nice breathability all around the upper of the shoe. So I would say this is slightly better for hotter temperatures than the Modus. The Modus is just a little bit better for cooler temperatures, but they're pretty similar with the material. It's also got that slip-in upper in the back with the ankle um, collar, and so you can easily slip your heel right in here. And I don't know, I just like this little extra nib here for a little bit of protection on your tendon, which is going up there. Same type of reinforcement in the back. I do think it's cool that they've put the laces on the side. It doesn't really matter if the mode is flex because they're using small drawstring um, laces, but with these, because they're a little bit bigger, sometimes if you have a knot here, you can kind of feel it when the shoe flexes, so it helps to put it off to the side. Um, I find the laces hold really well, and it doesn't have as much support as the Modus Flex, so I think it's a little bit more balanced towards um, running and cross-training, where the Modus Flex is a little bit more towards cross-training, where you'd want side-to-side -side support, but these um, little minimal support um, fabric here works pretty well. In terms of the sole, it's six millimeters, so it's a little bit thicker, but still some very good flexibility. Um, if you look at the tread, it's got these extra nibs here, which I really like for sprinting because if you're taking off on your forefoot, it just helps give you a little bit of extra grip. And then it's also got some nibs all across, um, some very lightweight lugs across the sole, which helps with traction as well. But I will say that it's a little bit more slippery on wet terrain versus the Modus Flex. Another good barefoot cross training shoe is the Zero Zelen. It's also super lightweight and it's got a decent amount of room. I would say it's more medium width and it does get a little bit pointy towards the front, kind of like the Lono Flow, but I like that they've left this portion here um, open because that's the part of people's feet where it's usually the widest. And like I said, it also gives you that extra flexibility without creating any weird crimping issues. Um, in the middle of the shoe, they've got some lightweight support, kind of similar to Lono, maybe a little bit more, but not quite as much as the Modus Flex. And then on top, I really like these lace um, fabric eyelets because they hold really well. Like once you snug this up, this isn't gonna go anywhere, but it doesn't feel tight, you know? It's just like a really nice snug fit. Um, it's not a slip-on shoe. If you tied the laces a little bit looser, especially if the pull tab, you can slip them on and off, but yeah, the other two are a little bit easier to get on and off. I also like how much open mesh there is in the front of the shoe and on the side because it gives you some very good breathability for hot temperatures versus the other two. This is definitely the most breathable um, of the three that we've looked at so far. Then in terms of the sole, um, it is a 5.5 millimeter sole. So it's got some very good flexibility still, even though it's a little bit thicker. And one of the reasons for that is because they've cut lines in it, kind of like the Modus Flex, honestly. So especially horizontally, it gives you a lot more flexibility than you would normally get from a medium thick shoe like this. But because it's medium thick, and especially because they've added some more dense panels on the forefoot um, here, and then on the heel um, of the shoe, it works really well on gravel and on rocks and light trails and things like that. And the only condition it wouldn't work for is like really steep, slippery hills. But even then, it will give you a little bit better grip than the um, the other two. Finally, we've got the Vivo Barefoot Primus Light Knit. And this one's a little bit more geared towards running. If you don't need quite as much um, side to side support, this would be a good pick. It does have some minimal reinforcement, a nice wide toe box. It doesn't get narrow in the tip. It's still got quite a bit of room towards the front of the shoe, which is really nice. Um, it's a knit, but it doesn't have quite as much flexibility, so that's how they retain some of the structure in it. I think it's a little bit more structured than the Lono Flow, which, um, which can be helpful if you're doing um, some side-to-side -side stuff. And um, it does have some reinforcement, especially in the heel, you know, where you really need that lockdown, but you can slip into the shoe um, in the front. It's got a very stretchy pull tab here, so it's easy to slide your foot into. I love these for running, for sprinting, and that kind of thing. I think they're they're good for yoga as well. You can get a little bit of crimping. I think if they added a divot to this shoe, it would improve it, even if it was just a small divot, but it's not a huge deal because it is a pretty flexible material. It's got a medium amount of breathability. There's some perforation here. And then overall, it's pretty thin, so I generally don't have issues with this shoe becoming sweaty, but I think it is a little bit better for cooler temperatures than the Zelen and the Lona Flow. But um, in terms of the sole, it's four millimeters, so very thin, super flexible in all directions. 
Um, the lugs are very, very minimal. So this is more geared towards roads and gyms and stuff like that. You can take it on some light gravel, but it's not quite as versatile for trails as some of the other ones. All right, so that's my first impression of the view of Barefoot Modus Flex and friends. But if you'd like to support the channel, you can use the code FULTY10 for 10% off Vivo Barefoot, browse and filter more products at my website, barefootwear.org, or watch my zero drop transition video to learn more about barefooting. Finally, if you have a question about the view of Barefoot Modus Flex or about barefoot shoes in general, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.